So the students all have a sheet that has the sun in the middle and the seasons represented around the sun. And they have to orient this so that um, the points of their paper line up with the signs around the room. So there's a winter wall, there's a spring wall, there's a fall wall and a summer wall. And then we tell the students that the axis has to be oriented towards a specific wall in the room. So they have to tip the northern axis and point it towards that wall and keep it fixed in that direction. Um, so the reason that we are using the entire wall as the reference point for tilting the axis of the Earth, rather than having a specific point in the room represent the North Star, is that um, the room is actually too small um, relative to the scale of the North Star compared to the Earth and Sun. So when there's a fixed point that students think they have to keep pointing at, then that's how they end up drifting the tilt of their Earth rather than having it stay fixed in the correct orientation. So this is correct if they're always keeping this pointed at that whole wall versus having an incorrect orientation if they're trying to keep it fixated on a specific point inside the room, which is too close relative to where the North Star ought to be. So we're just gonna quickly go through um, the common things that students do incorrectly when they're running this model. So usually the most common thing we see is that students have the axis of the earth tilt drift or they don't change it at all. They're always pointing it towards the sun. So this is one wrong thing. Or sometimes students just kind of space out and it kind of works part way or they start turning it sideways um, and there's no clear axis orientation. Um, another incorrect thing that we see a lot is that they orbit it in a circle above the sun rather than going around the sun. This is above the sun, which is why we have the stack of books because the problem is even worse if you have this. This is how students will do this. And their Earth is not actually orbiting the sun. So when we've got the Lego person on um, to view day and night, it's especially important that students have their Earth level with the sun. Otherwise, the daytime, nighttime side doesn't quite make sense. So and the sun angle will be wrong if their Earth is not level with the sun. Um, and then the other issue that students run into is they look at the summer sun angle and then they pass over to winter and they're on the nighttime side and they say that it is cold because the sun is not shining on the person and they're mixing up their day and night with their summer winter. So you just have to point out that at winter, there is a daytime side and what's making it cold is the lower sun angle and the fewer hours of daylight, not the fact that the sun is not reaching the person here. As we're modeling the person's sun angle, we're imagining that this person mm -hmm. is on the surface of the earth. Mm -hmm. And this and is that's the way understand. that we connect their two, the two models. Mm -hmm. So if this person is in summer, then they're going to have to look or point quite high to be able to see the sun. Yep. And then that connects with the sun angles that our little Lego person is able to see from Earth. Mm -hmm. And then we'll show how this works in the winter as well. So their sky is here. So they're going to be looking at the sun at a low angle. 